theme for today is God in the midst of us. And we begin with reading from the beginning of John's Gospel, and this is in a translation that may be new to your ears. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was face to face with God, and the Word was God. All things came into being through Him, and apart from Him, nothing that exists came into being. In him was life, and the life was the light of all people, and the light is shining in the darkness, and the darkness has not overwhelmed it. And the word became flesh and tented with us, and we gazed on his glory, glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. And this is what Walter says about those verses. And again, he touches on, as he so often does, the social implications of the gospel. God is not only the spiritual representative of humanity. God is identified with humanity. In God, we live and move and have our being. In us, God lives and moves though God's being transcends ours. God is the life and the light in every soul and the mystic bond that unites us all. God is the spiritual power behind and beneath all our aspirations and achievements. God works through humanity to realize divine purposes. And our sins block and destroy the reign of God in which God seeks to be revealed and realized. Therefore, our sins against the least of our brothers and sisters in the last resort concern God. Therefore, when we retard the progress of humankind, we retard the revelation of the glory of God. Our universe is not a despotic monarchy with God above the starry canopy and ourselves down here. It is a spiritual commonwealth with God in the midst of us. Let's pray together. We pray thee to revive in us the hardy spirit of our forebears that we may establish and complete their work building on the basis of their democracy, the firm edifice of a cooperative commonwealth in which both government and industry shall be of the people, by the people, and for the people. Amen.